Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make hats using the Cricut Hat Press. So you could make bucket hats, ball caps, trucker hats, visors, and even straw hats. All you need is a heat transfer design cut from iron on vinyl, infusible ink or sublimation, the Cricut Hat Press, and the free Cricut Heat app. So come on over to my craft table with me so I can show you how the Cricut Hat Press works to make all of these fun hats and more. Fun fact, I love hats. But I haven't created a tutorial on how to personalize one yet because frankly, it's hard to apply anything to a hat without flattening and deforming and just messing it all up. And while there are hat presses out there, they are big and bulky and they never really seemed worth the effort. But then Cricut came out with a hat press and in true Cricut fashion, it's sleek, simple, and super easy to use. The Cricut hat press combines a patent pending curved heat plate with a versatile hat pressing form for a awesome hat making experience. The pressing form fits a variety of adult sized hats like sun hats and ball caps to provide a firm surface for curved materials. The Cricut hat press comes with customizable heat settings and three presets, heating up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to work with all major brands of iron on vinyl, infusible ink and sublimation products. And thanks to Cricut sending me one in advance. Thank you, Cricut. I have one right here. So let's unbox it and see what it comes with. All right, let's set up the hat press. To do this, you're going to need a mobile device. So I've got my iPhone here. It also works with Android. So you can use an iPhone, an iPad, or an Android. And uh, everything is right here. And I'll walk you through. I'll actually show you my screen as we set things up. And this tells you what comes in the box. We have the hat press, the hat pressing form, a safety base, strong heat resistant tape, and an iron on design so we can do our very first project. What you need to provide to set this up is an internet connected mobile device. And this is important. One time activation required using Cricut Heat App with compatible internet connected mobile device. The product will not function until activated. And then of course we need a power source. So I have an extension cord here that's properly rated for the hat press. So we have everything we need. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So inside we have the Cricut hat press itself, which looks like this with a curved heat plate for so that it conforms to you know, the curved surface of hats. We also have its safety base, some strong heat resistant tape. This is important for using the hat press. And then here we have the Cricut packet. And inside here we have our quick start guide. To activate and set up the press, download the Cricut Heat app on a compatible mobile device and then follow the on-screen prompts. And here is the user guide in English, French, and Spanish. And it tells you all the parts of the Cricut heat press and how to use it. And it's actually really, really simple. We're gonna go through it together. And of course your warranty is in here as well. And this here is your sample design for your very first project. And then in here, this is the very important hat pressing form. Now, I want to note that this contains walnut shells. I do want to note that Cricut has sterilized them. The reason why they used walnut shells was because they, they heated up and cooled down the best of all the things that they tried. This is what they tell me, right? So I'm not the one that did the testing, but this is what they say. So if you have an allergy to walnuts, you would want to consult your doctor about handling this. Our first step is to download the Cricut Heat app. So to do this, you'll want to go to the App Store, tap on Search, and tap in Cricut Heat. And you'll wanna tap on Cricut Heat, and you'll just tap it, not Cricut Heat Guide. That's something else, don't be confused by that. And it's not Cricut Design Space, it is a completely different app. So you'll want to download that. Once it's downloaded, it will look like this, 
blue icon that you see circled here that I'm pointing at, this is what the app looks like. It's navy blue and it says Cricut Heat. Let's open that up. All right, so we need to register a new heat press. So right here it says set up new heat press. I'm gonna tap on that. And it says searching for a Cricut heat press. Well, it's not gonna find it because this is not currently plugged in and sending out a Bluetooth signal. So let's take care of that. Let's plug it in right here. Um, note that it's a three prong plug. So you'll wanna make sure that you're, if you're not plugging it directly into a wall, make sure that your cord is properly rated for it. I'm using a 13 amp light duty extension cable. All right, let's go ahead and put the Cricut hat press right into its base like this and we can remove the, the warning sign. It says operates at high temperatures that can cause burns or other injuries. Of course, it's a heat press. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on because it does say plug in the heat press and power on. This is the power button. You can see the little symbol here, so we're gonna tap on that. There we go. All right, and the Cricut Heat app says that we have an available heat press. So let's go ahead and tap on connect. Connecting to hat press. All right, so it's using Bluetooth to connect to my hat press. So you wanna make sure that you're within a few feet of your hat press when you're setting this up. The Cricut Heat app says to activate hat press. It will be registered to Cricut ID. So be sure to tap I agree to the Cricut terms of use down there at the bottom and then tap activate. All right, so the hat press is now heating up. When not in use, always power it down and unplug your press, of course. Always be safe. All right, we have successfully activated the hat press and we're ready to make something great. So I'm gonna tap on done. All right, so we can see that I have my hat press right here. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And now we want to start a new project. So I'm gonna tap on start new project. Now we have our design that came in the box. So let's do this project first. This is everyday iron-on vinyl. So you wanna tap on select next to the transfer material and choose everyday iron-on at the top right there. And then we need a, something to put it on. And I have here a Cricut hat. This is sold by Cricut. This is a ball cap. This is 80% polyester and 20% cotton. And that means we can use it for infusible ink. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use it for our star. So we're going to tap on ball cap right down here at the bottom. All right, there we go. So now we have our transfer material selected and we're going to apply it to a ball cap. So we tap on next in the upper right corner. And the Cricut Heat app tells us exactly what to do. We're gonna preheat the blank for five seconds, press it for 60 seconds, and do a cool peel on it. It tells us everything that we need. We're going to need the Cricut hat press, the design face down, the ball cap, the Cricut hat form, and some strong heat resistant tape. And if you ever want detailed instructions on what you're doing, you can tap on the detailed instructions button and it gives you a little video and more supplies, a diagram, everything. So if you want more depth, you can get it. But truthfully, what I love about the Cricut Heat app is you really don't have to get that deep into it. You can just do what it says. So let's go ahead and tap send settings to hat press down here at the bottom. There we go. So it's sending the time and temperature settings to the hat press via Bluetooth. And then it tells us exactly what to do. So we want to preheat the blank. And we have a convenient little picture showing us exactly how to place the hat in the hat form. So we're going to open this up. Now I want you to note that there is a cardboard insert here. You'll want to remove this. And then you can fold out the sweatband and position it on the pressing form. So we're gonna set this on our cap like this. Now I recommend that you undo the Velcro in the back so that you can really get the hat onto your form. Nice and snug like this. And then you can uh, cinch it back up so it's gonna stay on there nice and tight. 
There we go. All right, so we want, our goal is to have this on here as smooth as possible. Just like this. This looks pretty smooth. I love that this, the hat form is pretty, you know, it's not, it's not rigid. We can smoosh things into it if we need to. All right, so this looks nice and smooth. That's important. All right, so now we're going to preheat it for five seconds. And by the way, there is a very handy uh, strap here so that you can hold this as you are doing your pressing. So let's go ahead and we're gonna preheat it for five seconds. So we're gonna place the hat press onto the form and then press the green go button. And I wanna note that when the Cricut hat press is ready to go, the arrow button turns green. So that's when you know it's, it's heated up and ready for you to press. And we preheat it and we move it back and forth like this. There we go, and it is done. All right, so now we want to place our design onto our ball cap. Make sure that you place it the right side down. Now when you do iron on vinyl, the shiny side goes up on your hat. The dull side is the side you want down on, right? So you want it like this. There we go. Now let's tape it in place because it is not going to stay put. <laughs> it's just not going to stay put. And indeed, there are detailed instructions here. So we can tap on those and it tells us exactly what to do. So place the design face down, liner side up. Again, the liner is the shiny side. Secure with a strong grip heat resistant tape. Hold the hat form securely with one hand. Press with light pressure. And then when you're done, slowly lift the press. So let's get some tape onto this because we're going to be, uh, you know, we don't want it to move while we're working with it. Now you might be wondering why is there strong heat resistant tape? Why are we using that instead of the regular Cricut heat resistant tape that the blue stuff? And that's because when you're working with hats on a curved surface, there's more chance for it to wiggle around. And we can tape right over it without worrying about it. And generally speaking, when it comes to making hats, you're going to want to go nuts on the tape <laughs> to make sure it stays in position. Here we go. So here is our hat all taped down and ready for us to press. There we go. So again, we're going to hold the hat form securely with one hand and press with light pressure. So let's close that. We're gonna hold it right here like this. And we're gonna put the hat press onto the hat. Press that go button, the green go button to begin. Now, because this design is not large, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it right in position just like this and not move it. However, you can move it back and forth and in some cases you're going to want to to make sure it's getting enough heat. And I'm applying light pressure, which means my hand is pressing down lightly. It's not pushing down, right? It's nothing, nothing doing nothing like that. It's just pressing lightly. I'm holding everything nice and tight. It's interesting that normally everyday iron-on would only need like 15 seconds, but chances are that it's related to the hat press or the hat form or just the way that it works, but it needs 60 seconds, so that's interesting. All right, we can take it off now, put it back into its cradle, and the uh, Cricut Heat app tells us what to do. We want to peel this when it's cool. So after the iron-on vinyl has cooled down, we're going to slowly remove the liner when it's cool to the touch. Here's what it looks looks like after I pressed it. Now I think it's very important that you let your iron-on vinyl cool down before you attempt to remove it. This is a curved surface. If there's uh, just a little bit that you know didn't like it here, it's probably going to be more of a problem. When it's all cool, you slowly remove the liner, very slowly.
And there we go, a beautiful hat. I love it, it looks awesome. And then when you're finished with your hat press, be sure to unplug it and allow it to cool down completely before you store it. Now to take care of your hat, you'll want to allow at least 24 hours after application before washing it. If you do wash it, you'll want to hand wash it in cold water. Don't use any bleach, don't put it in your dryer. Let it just dry, air dry, and do not dry clean it. And that's it. That is how you make an awesome hat. All right, now let's make more hats, shall we? Other hats are this Cricut Trucker hat. Let's definitely make something with that. A cute blue cotton hat. This is not Cricut's brand, but it's really cute. And of course, we need a bucket hat. I have that as well. How about a visor? Let's do that. And I'm even gonna try a straw hat. We'll see what happens. So for this, I'm going to use both iron-on vinyl and infusible ink, and I'm gonna cut out some cute designs and put these on together with you. All right, so let's make sure we have everything that we need. So we have our hat pressing form ready to go. Our Cricut hat press is heating up. We have our Cricut heat app here. We have our design. We're also going to need a little butcher paper. So we have that here. And the Cricut heat app will tell us exactly what we need. Now remind, remember, so when it's orange, it's still heating up and not ready. When it turns green, it's ready to go. So let's start by tapping on start new project. All right, so we are going to use infusible ink. So this design is infusible ink. So we're gonna tap it right down here at the bottom, infusible ink transfer sheet. And we are putting this onto the trucker hat. So this is the trucker hat. It's this black with white on it. So we're gonna tap on trucker hat right here. All right, this looks great. So let's tap next in the upper right corner. All right, this, is again, this tells us everything that we need. So we're gonna need the hat press, which we have, butcher paper right here, the design, which we'll put face down, the hat, the hat form, some strong heat resistant tape. I put it into a tape dispenser and the lint roller. All right, so let's tap send settings to hat press. All right, so the hat press is heating up. You can see it blinking orange there. So we have to wait for it to heat up. It tells us how long it's going to take. It says it has one minute left to go, so that's really nice. Our first task is to preheat our blank. So first we're going to position it onto our hat form. And we wanna put it so that this strap is facing us and then we wrap the hat inside the form. Take it, um, un, you know, unlatch it in the back so that you can really get it onto that hat form. It's very important that you mold the hat and the hat form together. You want them to be really, really um, smooth. There we go. So we want this to be very smooth. So let's really smoosh that in there. Looks good. All right, so first we're going to lint roll it. And we uh, have this little video. So we, we un... So you wanna undo the hat in the back, put the hat form in, and then use the lint roller to remove any dust or pet hair or anything like that. Okay. And then we are going to put a piece of butcher paper over the hat. So here's our butcher paper. I'm gonna put that right over the hat. And then we're gonna preheat it for five seconds. So we put the hat form right onto here and press the go button and move it back and forth to make sure we're getting all of it preheated. There we go. All right, our step two is to press. 
So we want to put our design on and tape it down really well. Always make sure you're putting it on the right way. So I just always hold it up, you know, so that you can see it. This is the right way. Now I want you to notice that there's extra tape along the bottom. And if I go and put that on right now, it's going to like sort of just be in our way. So let's trim that off. So I've trimmed the liner to be pretty close to our infusible ink. All right, so we're going to set it in the position we want it to be. Now I recommend that your designs not be, you know, we want to leave a margin between the design and the edge of the brim here. And I recommend at least a quarter of an inch, if not a half an inch, because it's going to be hard to get it up close there. I just want to make sure it looks straight, and it does. Thankfully, we have these nice lines in here to show us what's straight, and can we can make sure they're parallel to the brim there. All right, so now we need to tape it down. Your goal is to get this as flat and smooth as possible. And I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty of tape. It's possible I don't need this much, but better safe than sorry, I think. There. And then let's get this edge here because I can see it's kind of bubbling up right there. We want to make sure that's also really well adhered. There we go. So this is what my design looks like all taped down. So let's just make it double check that it looks straight and centered, which it does. Okay, good. So I'm going to hold the hat form in our hand, so nice and steady. We're going to place our butcher paper over, and then we press it with light pressure, and we're going to move it back and forth. And that's why it's so important that we tape our design well. All right, so let's begin. All right, so when it's done, it'll beep at you. Place it back in the cradle. We can remove our butcher paper. And you know, it's hot, it's still sublimating, but we can see it definitely transferred, that's great. Let's let it cool off just a bit. The Cricut Heat app tells us to peel it when it's warm, not hot, but warm. Hold this up so you can see. Oh, that's adorable. Just a country girl. That transferred really, really nicely. So again, this was a paisley pattern here, and this was supposed to be like denim. So it's not actually faded where it says right below where that says country. That was the design of the infusible ink. That is super cute. I love it. Let's do our next infusible ink design. So we'll tap on done in the upper right corner. I want to note that right below we can see the history of what we have done. So we're going to again use infusible ink. So we could choose the trucker, the, like the first item the, for the last used one. However, I don't know for sure if the ball cap and the trucker hat are identical, so we won't do that. Instead, I'll do Start New Project, tap Select, choose Infusible Ink Transfer Sheet, and then choose the ball cap, just in case it's slightly different. And then tap Next, and it looks to me like it's probably the same. All right, and then I have everything ready to go, so I'll tap Send Settings to Hat Press. All right, so it's sending our settings here. So we're gonna do the same thing. We need to do our preheat. So let's get out our ball cap. All right, so really pull that down. All right, that looks great. So let's lint roll it. And then we're going to place a piece of butcher paper. 
on the brim to protect it as we preheat it. So we place our design on the hat. We tape it down on all four sides with a strong heat resistant tape. We put a piece of butcher paper over our design and then we press it with light pressure and we're gonna move it back and forth. So important that we tape our design well. All right, here we go. Once we remove the butcher paper, let's see how it looks. All right, we'll let it cool down just a little bit and the Cricut Heat app says that it is warm peel. So let's see how this did. There we go. Oh, that's super cute. I love this. This looks great. Mama bear. Now we have done two infusible ink hats. Let's do an iron on vinyl hat. So this is a hat blank that I found on Amazon. So the link to everything, as always, is uh, below the video and over on my blog. All right, so let's start a new project. Now this time we are going to put the words dream team in everyday iron on vinyl. So we're going to tap select next to transfer material, choose everyday iron on. And then this cap is 100% cotton. You can always check, you know, there's a tag or something or wherever you bought it from will tell you, and this is 100% cotton. So we're going to choose 100% uh, cotton right there and then tap next. All right, so what we need is the hat press, the design, the hat, the Cricut hat form, and our tape, all of which we have. So let's send the settings to the hat press. Now, no, it needs to actually cool down because we just did infusible ink, so let's give it some time to do that. And we're going to need to do our um, preheating. Now, because we're going to, this is a cotton hat, and it can better withstand high temperatures. We don't, and we don't have to use butcher paper. We don't have to worry about it melting the way that we might with a polyester hat. Uh, so don't be confused why I might do that. Now it's telling us it's lowering the temperature and it's going to take five minutes to lower the temperature. Okay, so it's gonna to need to cool off and it's gonna take five minutes to cool off, four minutes now. The good news is that it tells us how long so we can get up, you know, go get a drink or something. Make sure your Cricut hat press is safe um, from little hands or anyone like that. Uh, but yeah, this is a good time to take a little break. All right, the Cricut hat press is now at the proper temperature. So we're going to preheat the blank for five seconds. We'll just place it right onto our hat, press the go button and preheat. Preheating is important for removing moisture. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to put our design right onto our hat. So this is our design. It says Dream Team. So we're gonna make sure it's straight and centered. And then tape it down to within an inch of its life. Because we move it, it's very important that it be taped down so it doesn't, you know, slide or anything like that. And then pull it across nice and tight, right? Make sure you're really tugging on it when you place that tape down there. All right, I'm gonna reuse some tape from before. As long as it's still sticky, you can use it again. So there we go. Here it is all taped and ready to go. So it's going to take 90 seconds. Not that we have to worry about that, but it's nice to know, you know, that is how long and we're gonna be pressing it. All right, so let's check the detailed instructions and see what they say. Place the design face down, liner side up. Secure with strong heat resistant tape. Hold the hat form securely in one hand. Press with light pressure at 330 degrees for 90 seconds and then slowly lift the press. 
And then of course, there's our little diagram showing us moving the press back and forth to make sure that we're evenly distributing the heat across our design. So let's begin. So we're gonna place it on here and then press the go button. And we're just gonna slide it back and forth like this until it beeps and tells us to take it off. Now, of course, you can use your hat press without using the Cricut Heat app if you prefer. There's, there's, you're not required to use the hat app. The, it does, you do not have to use the Cricut Heat app. The only time it's required is when you activate your heat press to begin with. Other than that, it's completely up to you. Now, I think the Cricut Heat app, it makes this super, super easy because I don't have to worry about changing the settings or how long, it's all doing it for me. But if you don't wanna do that or, you know, whatever, maybe you lost your phone. <laughs> maybe your phone's not working so great. I mean, there's all sorts of reasons. So you don't have to use the Cricut Heat app after you've activated it. You can change the settings right on the side of the Cricut hat press. Um, you can always go to cricut.com slash heat guide to see what settings it recommends for your material and your hat blank. All right, we are done. Now, the Cricut heat app says this will be a cool peel, so we wanna make sure that this iron-on vinyl is completely cooled before we remove it. And then we will slowly remove the liner when it is cool to touch. Now you might be wondering if you can put anything on the brim, and you can, in fact, you can put iron-on vinyl on the brim. Cricut does not recommend, however, that we use infusible ink on the brim. And of course, this is not an infusible ink blank, but like these two are. But they don't recommend any infusible ink on the brim because it can, the heat is very high and it can warp the cardboard that, or plastic that is used to keep the brim in its position. I think it's plastic. So you don't wanna put infusible ink on the brim, but you can totally do iron-on vinyl. So let's actually put a daisy on the corner. I put together a little daisy here, just peeled off the iron-on vinyl in the center so that we could do it in one press. So we can go ahead and remove this. Let's place our brim, find the best spot for it. We're gonna still wanna be able to hold. Now this, the form is, um, you know, it has some give to it. Let's tape that down really well. Let's get it away from the seam, that little stitching there. There we go. Now, we are going to use, this is the same vinyl as this. Um, so we can actually just tap on make again. Oh, I guess that means that we should actually preheat it because it wasn't preheated. So let's tap on make again in the upper left corner and it'll have us preheated again. So let's do that. So let's preheat it for five seconds. Okay. And let me put our daisy on with a lot of tape. I'll put it right in the corner like this. There we go. Okay, so it's well taped down. Now let's press it. And I'm using the uh, just the edge of the press right here like this. Um, I don't think there's any need to press the whole brim. Wouldn't want to misshape it at all. The heat press is a little bit more curved than the brim is. So I'm just making sure by using like the edge of the hat press to make sure I'm getting all of it. Now, if I was doing the whole brim, you know, I'd probably do it differently, but this seems to, just, I feel like this is a good way of doing it. This is the first time I've ever uh, made hats with the Cricut hat press. We're setting it up and making them together. So chances are I'll learn more tips as we go along. But this feels like a good way to distribute the heat on the hat. You know, I'm actually holding the brim, I see that. 
think that's more important that it stays stationary because it's not completely on the hat form, right? So that's why I'm holding it like this. There we go. Okay. All right. I think that our dream team has cooled up here. So let's go ahead and remove that and see how we did. This is looking great. Nice and slow. Ah, uh, good. It looks great over the seam. Here we go. Excellent. This is super cute. Okay, let's check the flower. Ah, beautiful. This is adorable. I can't wait to wear this one. I need to make these for everyone on my team. All right, so that's iron-on vinyl on a ball cap. So now let's do a bucket hat. I have a cute little red bucket hat here. This is 100% cotton. Again, I got this on Amazon and I'll share the link to it. So you push that in there. You want to make sure that you pay attention to where your tag is. So you're putting your design on the front. <laughs> that makes sense, right? All right, so I am going to put the words sassy on this, just like this. It'll be, it'll be super cute. Okay, and let's make sure this hat form is really in here well. And we're going to, uh, now this is cotton and iron on vinyl. So we can go ahead and tap make again. But remember there is the recently pressed list. So I'm gonna tap done instead and make sure you see this. So right down here, it says last used. We can see that the last thing we did was the Cricut Everyday Iron On on 100% cotton. So I can tap it from here, just like this, and send my settings to the hat press like this. So I love that it remembers what we did so we can reuse those settings. All right, so let's go ahead and preheat it. Now this is red cotton, so it's going to change colors when, as we heat it, but it's, when it cools down, it'll go, go back to being you know, red. So don't be, don't be surprised. If ever you press a red t-shirt or anything red, it's totally normal for it to get darker. Um, it's uh, red dye is uh, just the way it reacts to heat, but it, when it cools down, it'll be fine again. All right, so let's put on our sassy vinyl. Let's make sure it's straight, and we're going to tape it. I think that for these two on the ends, we should be using new tape. And you remember you want to be at least a quarter to a half an inch from your brim right here. But if you still have a, pro a tape from another project that is sticky, it's, I think it's fine to use that for the tops and the bottoms. So I have some here that's still good. Right up there. As long as it's sticky, you can reuse it. And it is pretty sticky tape, so there we go. So we place our design face down, line our side up, secure it with strong heat resistant tape, hold the hat form securely with one hand, and then press with light pressure. Let's go ahead and do it. And we want to move it back and forth and make sure we're getting all of the edges of our vinyl. And again, if you're, you have a red hat, don't worry about it changing color. It's not going to hurt it. When it cools down, it's going to go back to its normal color. And we can take it off the hat form, right? If it turns out we need to press it, so we could... Um, I'm like, I don't know that we need to keep it on here. I feel like we can take it off and let it cool. So to do a visor, and this is a 100% cotton. Let's undo the Velcro on the back and place it on as flat as we can on that pressing form. 
So really, really make sure that that top there is really smooth. There we go. Okay, that looks great. So I wanted to do layered vinyl on this one. So I'm first going to do the, the black layer. I feel like that's going to be easier. So I'm going to be getting this pretty close. This is like a quarter of an inch. There we go. I'll just tape it. Make sure that's pulled really tight there. Like that. It's pretty close to the seams, right? I don't know. I don't know how well it'll work. We're going to try it. All right. So this is a cotton. This is everyday iron on. So I can just use the same settings that I had for my last hat. All right, let's press a layered design. So let's, let's let this one cool down before we remove it into the second layer. And let's see how our sassy bucket hat is doing. So let's remove the tape before we take off the liner. Okay, let's see how it looks. Nice and slow so that if we have a problem, we can repress. Nice and slow. This is looking excellent. Perfect. Super cute. <laughs> okay. So we've got that one. We can go ahead and tap done because we actually are going to use a different material for the next layer. So we're going to use glitter sparkle iron on. So I'll tap that. And then of course it's going on to cotton. All right, there we go. Then tap next and send settings to the heat press. Now we don't have to preheat the blank because it's already been preheated. So we can tap skip and then we can let it get to the right temperature. So it'll take a couple minutes to get to the right temperature, which is fine because we're waiting for this to cool down still. Well, it feels to me like it might be good. Let's check and see. Feeling. And then we are going to put Lucky on here. Lucky goes right in here. Oh, this is going to be super cute. Feeling lucky. Let's tape it down. Feeling lucky. Let's do this. Okay. All right, so um, Holographic Sparkle Iron-On is also a cool peel. So let's wait for it to cool off. In the meantime, I'll take it off my hat form and let it cool over here. Okay. All right, let's see how we did um, and if we're actually feeling lucky. So take off our, very slowly we remove the liner I'm feeling lucky. Awesome. It worked. Feeling lucky. Super cool. I love it. That's my green for St. Patrick's Day. All right. So I thought it would be fun to try a straw hat. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, it's very textured. You know, I'm not so, I'm not so sure about this, um, but let's just give it a try and see what happens. Thought it would look super cute to put sun kissed on the hat so we're going to give it a try so we do want our hat form for this one but rather than just put it in here i think i'm going to do it more like at an angle like this so i can make sure that i really get you know right into that brim there like this and uh, we're going to need to come up with some settings for this so we're gonna tap on start new project. For the transfer material, this is everyday iron-on, so that's easy. But the, the material, like you know, the base material, this is not here. So I'm going to choose cotton because I think this is an organic material. So we're gonna choose cotton, there we go. Tap next and send settings to the hat press. All right, so our first step is to Go. So we're going to do a initial pressing, but I'll have to tape this down really well. All right. 
that's as good as I think it's going to get. You may not be able to move it back and forth. It doesn't seem like this is for as strong as this tape is. This is such a non-smooth surface. All right, but let's give it a try. All right. All right, let's let it sit there and see how it works. So here's what our iron on vinyl on the straw hat look like. You can see it's a little rough, but this is such a textured uh, hat. I'm amazed it's even sticking to it, and it is sticking to it. It's a little, it's a little rustic, <laughs> but it's actually really cute. So I would say this is a success. Um, but don't expect, you know, it to be beautiful and smooth because your iron-on vinyl will meld into your, into your surface. So if your surface isn't so great, you're going to end up with these sort of funky, funky lines here. But it's, it's actually really cute. And the hat press definitely did the job here. What else could we make with the hat press? I have an idea something that's normally difficult to make and it's um, a curved stuffed animal. So we're not going to use this. Okay, let's set this aside. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Uh, I made this for Alexa using the Easy Press 3. I thought I would try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. All right, so I thought it'd be cute to have some flowers on the elephant's head. Right, let's see, kind of like a crown, like this. All right, so let's trim this. And it's in layers too, so we need to do it in layers. All right, and so I've trimmed it a bunch. So we're not using the hat form, instead I'm gonna use the curved surface. So let's go ahead and make a new project for it. Start a new project. This is um, Everyday Iron On. And this is polyester. The tag tells me, so I don't have to guess, but the tag says it's polyester. So we're going to choose polyester right there. Okay, tap next. Send settings to hat press. All right, so it is, needs about 58 seconds to get to the right temperature. Okay, so first we need to preheat it. If you're worried about your material, you can cover it with little butcher paper. Um, it is polyester, but we're just doing everyday iron-on. It's probably okay. But just to be on the safe side, I'll put a little butcher paper on this cute little elephant's forehead. All right, so five seconds. It does fit well on his head, so that's good. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's put on our design. All right, so there is the everyday iron-on, taped down really well to the forehead. All right, and I'm gonna cover this with butcher paper. Just make sure that I protect my, the polyester of the project, of the uh, elephant. I don't want to hurt this cute little elephant. So I have a little tape there, and a little tape here. Okay, all right. Let's try it. Okay, so we press this on, and there we go. And it doesn't feel like I'm really gonna be able to move it around. So I'm gonna just try pressing on it Like it's not that, you know, as soon as I, I press on it, it wants to kind of move, you know. It's not a firm surface. So rather than moving it back and forth, I'm just pressing down. But let's do this just to make sure that we're getting, you know, good contact there, everything.
Yay, it worked. All right, let's put the white layer down. Okay, now we need to make sure these are protected, but this butcher paper is going to do that for us, so it should be fine. All right, so we're gonna make again. We don't have to do the preheating, so we're just gonna do the pressing. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, let's see how our elephant did. Let's pull off the tape here. It's working. So there is our elephant. Isn't that adorable? You can't usually do stuffed animals like this because you just can't smoosh them flat enough, but that Cricut hat press allowed us to make, to put the flowers on the head here. And that worked out great. And here are all of my finished hats. Aren't these just so awesome? I love how the Cricut Hat Press works together with the Cricut Heat app by sending precise time and temperature settings from the Hat Press, from your phone or your tablet via Bluetooth. The app shows detailed step-by-step -step instructions as it guides us from pre-press preparation to final peel. Now to make your own hat, here's all you have to do. First, get a design. You can use my designs free, any of the things that you see here from jennifermaker.com slash 377 or create your own personalized design in Cricut Design Space. To get you started, Cricut has a free hat design setup project made especially for Cricut hat blanks. If you're using a different brand, check your sizing and adjust accordingly. From there, you'll design and cut using your Cricut cutting machine. So if you have any questions about the Cricut hat press, I want to know, leave your question below this video or come ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get advice and ideas and hat inspiration from crafters just like you. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine to go along with your awesome Cricut hat press, I give one away every month. You can enter for the chance to win your own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. Be sure to check out my detailed guides on the Easy Press 3 and the Auto Press 2. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.